We were searching for fun food trees, and boy were we surprised! We saw some of these fun foods change their shape by doing exercise! They changed to letters, numbers, and animal shapes! Sunkissed fun foods, letters, numbers, and animals are made with real fruit! So they're real fun to eat! Letters, numbers, animals! Letters. Animals. Bill's Rice Krispies sounded great until... Hush! Hush! They stopped talking. Hey! Bring back Snap, Crackle, and Pop! Hush! Put him down! Snap to it! Snap? Yeah! Snap! What? what? Ah! And so... Snap, Crackle, and Pop! <laughs> the talking part of this complete breakfast returned. Rice Krispies! Breakfast doesn't sound good without it. Give me an X! Give me an O! Give me Tic Tac Toes! Wherever I go, it's X's and O's. Makes me feel so hungry for my Tic Tac Toes. They're so tasty. Check for your peas! Tic 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 Tac Toes. Tic Tac Toes, a good hot meal. And when you get three X's or O's on your spoon, you win. Thank goodness for Check for your peas! Tic 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 Tac Toes. With and without meatballs. And now back to Mother Baby. Everybody ready for lunch? <laughs> Scooter? I'll be there, Nanny. Stupid net. Stupid ball. Stupid game. Hey, Scooter. Is everything okay? I guess. But sometimes I wish I wasn't me. Huh? You wanna be different. No problem. It's alphabet soup. I see a word in my soup. Mm -hmm. But you can't read, Pinky. I can read soup, Skeeter. And it says right here, it's Lego Moose. Hey, I have a word too. Pickle Lickle. Come on in, Maverick. Say hello to 
Maverick, everybody! Maverick? That's Scooter! Well, it's nice to meet you, Maverick. Huh? Maybe you'd like to sit down and have some lunch with us. Okay. Here, Maverick. Let me help you. Thanks, Nick. Uh, ma'am? Chow, pretty good here, Maverick. Probably better than back at the base. Back at the base? Yeah, sure. Maverick here is an ace test pilot. He is? Yeah, and you know what? He flies the FP2QX. I'm afraid, Captain Gonzo. You and Maverick should be more careful. Now, why don't you other kids go back to the nursery and let Gonzo and Maverick finish? Okay, Annie. Nice flying, Mav. Uh, thanks, Rolf. Hot dog, Rolf. Hey, what did I tell you, pal? You were a hit. Gee, Gonzo, I don't think this Maverick guy is really me. He's not. Too normal, huh? Well, everything all right, Maverick? Uh... Great, Nanny, just great! Come on, Mav! This is called the decorative chair cover. <laughs> Keep 
Keep trying. You'll make it. I don't want to. Those guys were on the scene last year. What you need is a complete breakfast, including my vitamin pack, Frosted Flakes. They bring out the tiger in you. Come on, kid. Let's see if you're any good. <laughs> Frosted Flakes, good. They're good. Show them you're a tiger. Show them what you can do. The taste of Tony's Frosted Flakes. Shoot, tiger. And you. I know I should drink milk, because it'll help me grow up big and strong. Milk's got stuff that's good for my bones and stuff that's good for my muscles. And I guess that's okay, but I'm more interested in having fun. That's what makes milk so neat. You can drink a lot of it, and it tastes cool. So it can be a real pick-me-up. No, it does the body good. It wasn't easy getting even more delicious chocolate into something as rich in chocolate as a few musketeers bar. Fortunately, it's a lot easier to get all that extra chocolate out of it. Look, Toucan. Would have made the shot if I hadn't practiced through breakfast. Ah, then fruit flavor should be your aim. Follow my nose. It's a fast break. Kellogg's Fruit Loop Cereal with natural orange, lemon, and cherry flavor. And lots of vitamin C, part of this complete breakfast. Have some. Oh, boy. It's a slam dunk. You can play ball. Be a smash. Or a happy cat. Stretch out. Free Jeffrey Putty from Toys R Us with coupon on Fruit Loops. The Peanuts gang is getting personal with past presidents and their portraits. All these guys paint by numbers. It's an all-new This Is America, Charlie Brown, Wednesday at 8.30.
Mommy! <laughs> he looks great, Mommy! I can imagine! Well, I'll check back later, kids, and see who else I might have missed. That wasn't fun, Gonzo. I don't like being laughed at. Ah, you don't, huh? Ah, okay. Back to the old coloring book. Can you sing? Uh, I don't think so. Perfect. a wild day. Who was here this time? Elvis Presley? No, John Von Scooty. Oh, you should have seen him, Nanny. Well, I certainly heard him. Nanny, have you seen my whoopee cushion? No, I haven't, Fozzie. But I'm sure it's here. Ah, oh, gee. Now you kids try to be a little quieter, okay? Yes, Nanny. So, uh, how'd you like John Bond? Tough, man. He was little kiddo. A lot like Scooter. Yeah. I miss Scooter. be a rock and roll star, Gonzo. It's uh, too noisy. Yeah! Don't you love it? Uh-uh. It hurts my ears. Whoops. Uh, I wonder where it is. Still haven't found your whoopee cushion, huh, Fuzzy? Nope. What I need is x-ray vision. Really? Scooter, let me in. I think I got it. Uh-uh. You know, uh, I think this is a job for Super Scooter. It is? Oh, boy. Who's that? Don't ask. You mean you haven't heard of Super Scooter? More powerful than an industrial vacuum cleaner. Oh, boy. Able to leap tall chihuahuas in a single bound. What? Well, it's all right here. The Adventures of Super Scooter and the case of the missing whoopee cushion. Huh? Where? Here. 
Gee, I, I guess I'm a policeman. And I must be a reporter? And he must be... Yeah, who am I? You're Clark Scooter, Ace Reporter. A reporter? But I thought... Don't worry, Scoot. Uh, Clark. Now somebody get the phone. What, what phone? phone? Oh, yeah. Ring, ring. Ring, ring. Uh, Gonzo, the phone is just a drawing. I can't answer it. Oh, yeah, right. Okay, try that. Hello? Captain Comet, my whoopee cushion is missing. If I don't get it back, my whole career as a comic is ruined. Don't worry, Fuzzy. I'll be right over. What's up, Captain Kermy? Um, missing whoopee cushion. Uptown. Sounds like a big story. Yeah, let's go. Uh, Gonzo, the door won't open. Sorry, just walk to the next panel. No, this is ridiculous. Clark, you stay. But I want to go with them. You can't. You have to stay. Keep moving. They're not there yet. Sorry, Fuzzy. I guess we're not here yet. Ah! Oh, no! Oh, uh, it's just a drawing, Piggy. Time for action. Into the closet, quick. Not another closet. To change. It's time for Super Scooter. Gonzo. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. I better get the window, too. Animal, you don't belong in this story. What? Sorry. Manzo, this looks stupid too. Stupid? You look magnificent. Yeah, that's it. Now get going. Not that way. The window. The window? No way. And then the window. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, here goes. Sometimes even superheroes need a little help. Now, uh, let's see. <laughs> About time you showed up. I thought we were going to walk for just a few more steps. Next panel. <laughs> Phew, that's a long walk. Hey. I just left here. Why? This is confusing. Let me guess. You haven't found your whoopee cushion yet. Nope. And this is where you last saw it. Yep. And I've walked everywhere. Well, I say this is a hopeless case. You can't get under, over, or behind anything. It's all a dumb comic book. Does this mean my career is over? What a wonderful thought. You can say that again. Hold it, Super Scooter, the whoopee cushion. Remember, Rosie's counting on you. What can I do if I'm just flying around in some superhero's underwear? Now, if I had my computer like a real policeman. How about this one, Super Scooter? Maybe. That's it. No more comics, no more stupid outfits, no more Scooper Scooter than Cooper Scooper. I quit! But what about my whoopee cushion? Can't you find it, Scooter? Please? Okay, Fozzie. I'll try. Where's my computer? Here it is, Scooter. Boy, this feels great. Okay, okay. Now my whoopee cushion. Right. Where'd you last see it? When Scooter Rooney sat on it. <laughs> he was a jerk. Okay, let's see. The whoopee cushion. And it weighed down uh, six feet over. Uh -huh. Isn't it great to have good old Scooter back? Oh, well, no wind factor, minus, given the Earth's rotation, and I'm left-handed. Uh-huh. Okay, and this should give us our answer. Well, 
Well, according to my calculations, Fozzie, your whoopee cushion should be right over there. Oh, boy! Here, whoopee cushion. Gee, it still is in here, Scooter. Huh? But, but I know I'm right. I don't see it. I just know it's here. Huh? My whoopee cushion. See? I know it. It must have landed in there when Scooter Rooney threw it. And Scooter found it. Yay! Yeah! What's all the cheering about, kids? Scooter's back. And he found my whoopee cushion. He did? Well, isn't that wonderful? It's nice to have you back, Scooter. Everybody missed you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And I'm glad to be back. I'll bet you are. So what are you kids going to do the rest of the afternoon? Well, now that Scooter's found our ball, how about another game of whoopee cushion? Yeah! And, uh, maybe you'd like to play on my team, Piggy, my sweet. Piggy? Are you speaking to more? Sorry, I thought you said Piggy. I did. You are Piggy, aren't you? What? No way. My name is Cleopatra. Cleopatra? Of the Nile? Perhaps you've heard of me? Huh? Oh, boy. Animal, what are you doing? Me, Muscle Man. Uh, Animal, I think your muscles are big enough. Uh-uh. Animal, don't! Go bye-bye. Yeah, but don't you go bye-bye, because we'll be right back. <laughs> for her party. <laughs> they smell like cherries. So does Cherry Mary Muffin. Sit down, Betty Berry. You too, Chocolatey. A party with muffins. Cherry Mary Muffin. Too sweet. <laughs> and I'm sweet. And smells sweet too. Cherry Mary Muffin doll, her sweet smelling friends, and her kitchen fun play sets each sold separately. New from Mattel. The Kool-Aid Wacky Warehouse has returned with great new stuff. Sports gear. Where we'll very happily equip you wackily. And you can taste our prehysterical new Kool-Aid flavor purple source Rex in the wackiest store in the world. When you're on the go, here's a great way to carry all your wacky stuff. The new wacky belt pack from Kool-Aid. This and lots of other stuff can be yours from Kool-Aid soft drinks. When you save the Kool-Aid points from any package, catalogs and order forms are available in boxes of these post cereals. Muppet Babies will return. This is CBS. Weeknights at 7 on Channel 3, it's an hour of family fun. Let's start the Family Feud! With the star of Family Feud, Ray Coates! Then at 7.30... It's the game that everybody's playing. It's win, lose, or draw! An hour of family fun weeknight starting at 7 right here on West Michigan's Channel 3. The Tigers take on the Rangers Sunday at 1 on Channel 3. Back to Mother Baby. It's the Leave It to Piggy that I love who knows best show. Cool. Piggy, funny! That reminds me.
reminds me of a joke. What did the rug say to the floor? Give up? You're covered with me. Hey! Quiet, Fuzzy. I'm trying to watch. Sorry, Mom. Well, I was working on my souped-up jalopy, and I kind of accidentally uh, blew up the garage. What? Mom, I just have to have a new pair of running shoes for the senior homecoming track meet. Oh, please, Mom, please, 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 with sugar on it. You blew it up. No, Mom, you don't blow up shoes. Not the shoes, the garage. Well, not the whole garage, Mom. How much? About 1995. Not the vacuum, the garage. All but two feet. Two feet? Perfect, Mom. Two feet, two shoes. Not shoes, feet. The rush feet. The rush is at feet. Please, please. It was just a little explosion. Oh! I really gotta go. Please, Mom, the shoes. I've got places to go, people to see, vacuums to sell. It was an accident. No, 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 no. Father will know what you do. Follow me. Father, we need to talk to you. Huh? Please, Dad, I need these shoes. Listen, Pops, what's a little dirt between homemakers? I didn't mean to do it. These kids are driving me nuts. Um, do you know what's going on? Look, Father's packing a suitcase. A suitcase? Where are you going, Father? Yeah, where are you going, Pop? Don't you guys remember? I'm going to visit Robin this week. Huh? Robin? I don't remember anyone named Robin on this show. You know, I know nephew Robin, the tadpole. Oh, yeah, Robin. Oh, Kermit, you can't go. What will I do? There's no one else who can play Father like you. I'm sorry, Piggy, but I've got to. Uh, all right. Prettiest wife ever in the whole world. I'm home. Now this guy, a girl, could learn to like. Hi, kids. Hi, Hi Nanny. Are you about ready, Kermit? In a minute, Nanny. I'm just packing a few of my favorite toys. Now remember, kids, we're not going to make a fuss about Kermit going away. We're not? Of course not. If Kermit knew how much we're going to miss him, he might not want to go at all. Right. So everyone put on your very best smiles. Okay? Okay, Nanny. All right, everybody. You heard what Nanny said. We all have to be brave and strong and... and, and We're supposed to make it easy for Kermit to leave, remember? Well... Hey, 
Hey, I know how to make it real easy for Kermit to leave. Watch! Huh? Hey, Kermit! Yeah, yeah Fuzzy? Don't worry about leaving us. We're probably not gonna miss you at all. You're not? Uh-uh. In fact, you could stay for two weeks if you really wanted to. Well, um, gee, thanks, Fuzzy. You could even stay a whole year if you were having a really good time. Hey, maybe you shouldn't come back at all. Huh? Yeah, that's a great idea. I'll go tell the others. Hmm, did I miss something? Hey, everybody. I made Kermit feel so good about leaving, he'll probably never come back at all. What? <laughs> What's the matter? Did I say something wrong? You said that Kermit is never, ever coming back. I did? Uh-huh. Oh, no, this is terrible. I'll say. Kermit is helping me build this rocket to fly to the planet off. Kermit and promise to love him tenderly, love him truly, never let him get away. Oh, yes, yes, yes! Uh, a simple I do would be fine. Oh, I do! Kermit? Yeah? It's right now or never, cause you. All right, Kermit. Okay, okay, I do. Good. Well, she's falling in love with you. Hum, hum, hum. Sheesh. All right, now you can kiss the bride. Mm -hmm. But if my Kermit wasn't here... Should I or shouldn't I? Yeah. Kermit, I'm waiting. I shouldn't, but I'm gonna. Hi, kids. What's going on? Oh, um, uh, I just wanted Gonzo to smell my pretty flowers. Ah, uh, plastic. My favorite smell. <laughs> That's nice, Piggy. Hermit, I'll take your bags out to the front room and I'll call you when the taxi gets here. Okay, Nanny, thanks. Oh, my, these are heavy. You'd think you were never coming back, Kermit. What did she say? Never coming back? That's what I thought she said. You see? Even Nanny knows Kermit's not coming back. What are we gonna do? Well, we have to make him want to come back. How do we do that? I have an idea. Thanks, Fozzie. But we need an idea that'll work. Oh, never mind. How about a mushy card? Or a singing telegram? Oh, yes! <laughs> to Kermit the Frog! From Wolfie the Dog! Scooter and Skeeter! And Piggy the Hog! What? I said Piggy the Hog! Oh. Um, never mind! Listen, what we need is something big! You mean like a poster? Nah, that's chicken feed! How about a billboard? Small potatoes! Balloon! Yeah! Now you're talking! Well, we'll give him a balloon like he's never seen before! <laughs> what are you doing, Gondo? <laughs> Blowing up the balloon! No, you're not! Balloon! Balloon! got an idea? Listen to this. Hey, guys! Shh! Gonzo, what's going on? Quiet, Kermit. We're talking about you never coming back. 
never coming back? Why does everyone keep saying that? Of course I'm coming back. What if I didn't come back? I wonder what it would be like out there all alone, without my friends. I guess I'd sort of be Kermit the Hermit. Hey, this isn't so bad. That great outdoors. A campfire. Mmm, frogs never were very good at toasting marshmallows. Gosh, it gets dark awfully quick around here, doesn't it? Wow, listen to the chirping crickets. <laughs> and the hooting owl. And the howling wolf. Howling wolf? <laughs> and whatever that was. Oh boy. Not this baby will return after these messages. Ronald McDonald in Red Shoe Review. Good time. Great taste. That's why this is our place. After you. The good time, great taste of McDonald's. Good time. Great taste. That's why this is our place. Rubble, rubble. The good time, great taste of McDonald's. Jump in! Wow! Good time! Yeah! Great taste! Oh, Big Good time! Great taste! That's why this is our place! Good time! Great taste! Oh, B-O-N-A-L-B-S! B-O-N-A-L-B-S! Good time! Great taste! Oh, Big This trip's a breeze thanks to my Super Golden Crisp cereal, riding high with 10 vitamins and minerals, and the honey sweet pot of this nutritious breakfast. Breakfast? Something shady going on here. Yeah, and my big digs, your honey sweet wheat sugar bear. Dig this, bird brain. All you're getting is a vitamin packed punch. It looks like this turkey's goose is cooked. Can't get enough of Super Golden Crisp. It's got the crunch with punch. Yeah. Our mission is clear. You finally bite a Chips Aloy cookie without biting a chip. Let's try the northern approach. Impossible! What about the southern route? No way. Nope. Our only chance is right here. Synchronized cookies. Bite. Not again. Well, the feet never tasted so sweet. Chips Ahoy cookies. Let you bite a chip. Hey, want to try again tomorrow? You bet! Let's go! What was it like to be a kid back in the old days? Soviet history. It's a wet and wild adventure for young and old alike. Bang. Paradise, tonight at 8. Lisa, you're a beautiful girl. Is Dad planning a love-in with the live-in? Don't look, man. This is an X-rated dinner. Mom! You little foreign floozy. Monday! T-Frog, here is your life! What? Hermit, we've invited you to our television studio to... But we're not in a television studio, Ralph. We're in the nursery. We are? Hey, animal! Huh? Oopsie! Sorry! Wow! So, anyway, as I was saying, Kermit, all your good buddies want to show you what a really swell frog we think you are, why we want you to come back after your visit. The Ralph, I am coming back. So, Kermit T. Frog, here is your life. Kermit T. Frog was born one rainy day in India. What? But Kermit didn't mind the rain at all. Whee! Yippee! Raised by wolves in the wild backcountry of Illinois, huh? little Kermit always got along well with his fellow cubs. Cubs? I did? 
Next, Hermit was elected Emperor of California, um, where he ruled with kindness and made sure there was plenty of ice cream for everyone. And... <clears throat> Rose? Uh, yeah, Kermit? None of that stuff ever happened to me. Didn't? Nope. Hey, who made this book anyway? We did! <laughs> that explains it. Sheesh. Well, so much for the past. <laughs> Let's take a look at what the future would be if you didn't come back. But Rolf, I am. And here to tell the future is our resident fortune teller, the Wizard of Nerd. Animal, you're gonna drop my ball. Gee, I guess he really can tell the future. That was my last crystal ball. Now what am I supposed to use? What? Wow. This will never work. Just try it, okay, Scooter? Well, okay. The future's here for one and all. When I look into my crystal football, tell us where we all will be if Hermit leaves us. Yes, siree. But Scooter... Shh, I'm getting something. <laughs> See, I knew it wouldn't work. Try again. Okay. Oh, magic ball that holds the future. Show us Rolf, our favorite pooch here. Hey, Rolf, look. That looks like me. Cool. And you're playing the piano, just like you always wanted. Well, sort of. You see, without you there to cheer him on, Kermit, Rolf stopped practicing. He did? But I wouldn't. And he never got any further than playing elevator music. Excuse me, oh, pardon, pardon me. me. Ow! Oh, I'm having a pardon. Excuse me, could you get that for me? Sure, Mac. What a bummer. Sorry, Rolf. But like I was saying... Uh, Who else do you see there, Scooter? I see big trouble in the very near future. Hey, that's our football! Dog pile on the kid with the glasses! Yeah. 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 Got it! Okay, guys, the last one on the field is a rotten egg! Yeah. 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 So, anyway, Kermit, the past is past and the future is, um, futured. But what about today? <laughs> Let's hear from two of the loveliest girls in the nursery, your dear friends, Skeeter and Piggy. <laughs> That's Piggy and Skeeter. Right. Take it away, girls. <laughs> this is a song that I, I mean, that we wrote for you, Carla. We all did. He's my hero, yes, indeed. He's my everything. Hey. He's my favorite shade of green. Cutest guy I've ever seen. Gosh. I feed him cookies and milk to make him feel like a king. Lord? I bake him a glacey cake. Oh, yeah. And watch him eat the whole thing. The whole thing? He's my hero, yes, indeed. The only frog I'll ever need. Gosh. He runs his strike so gracefully. I do? Every move is poetry. Yeah. I clean his room for him what? and put everything in his place. Uh -oh. Yeah, well, I even brush his teeth just to see that smile on his face. Uh, but I don't have any teeth. Yeah. Oh. He's my hero, yes, indeed. He's my everything. No, he's my favorite shade of green. The cutest guy. Your hero. Hero. Wait a minute. Oh, my hero. Really? Oh, my hero. Oh, my hero. Oh, my hero. Wait a minute. Oh, my hero. Oh, my Skeeter. Oh, oh, yeah? Well, my hair is fatter than yours. Lonita. Well, I've had the chicken pox. Yeah. And now, let's get on with Here Is Your Life, Kermit T. Frog. Oh, oh, oh. Hey. Here's a voice you might recognize, Kermit. Listen to this. If Kermit never comes back, the sun won't shine, the moon won't rise, and peanut butter won't stick to the roof of your mouth. Hey, it's Gonzo. Good 
Yes, Kermit! Gee, Gonzo, that was really nice of you to say, but I am coming back. Wait a minute, Kermit! It's not as simple as that! Never is with Gonzo. Look! When the sun stops shining, the temperature of the Earth will begin to drop! And, and the wind will start to blow! But Gonzo, I'm not really... Wait! That's only the start! Animal! Big Thunders! And after the winds start to blow, the cows will come home! Monkeys will munch up mush! And alligators will become orthodontists! What? Oh, brother! Not only that, but bubbles will grow out of cheeseburgers! Wars will break out! Men will go bald! Is that it? Oh, paper will flow like rivers. Square dancers will run rampant in the streets. And the fat lady will finally sing. And then elephants will run the malt shops. Uh, Gonzo! There'll be a candy bar shortage. Gonzo! Cosby will be canceled. <laughs> Gosh, Piggy, what did you do that for? Um, gee, well, gee, I was, um, just saving you the trouble, Kenny. Whoa, thanks, Piggy. <laughs> now, where was I? <laughs> uh, Gonzo, um, I really don't think all of that stuff would happen just because I left the nursery. You don't? Uh-uh. Not even the part about the Brussels sprouts? Nope. Oh, well. Back to the drawing board. Clean up. <laughs> well, uh, thank you, Gonzo. Now, Kermit, we have one last voice for you today. Do you recognize this one? Knock, knock. Hmm. Uh, who's here? The bear. Oh, boy. Um, the bear who? The very funny fuzzy bear! Waka waka! Whoa! Please come and please come back, please! Huh? I know it's all my fault. I don't know why it's my fault, but they said it was. Right, it's your fault! What's your fault, Fuzzy? That you're never coming back to the nursery because I told you not to come back. But I didn't mean that you shouldn't come back. I just wanted you not to worry about coming back if you came back. Or, or no, wait, was it? Nah. But Fuzzy, I am coming back. You are? Sure, that's what I've been trying to tell you all along. You mean we made this whole show for you for nothing? No, Rolf. You guys made me feel great. I'll never forget it. Gosh, thanks a lot. Um, uh, well, the whole thing was my idea, Kermy. No, sir, Piggy, it was my idea. I said to differ with you, but the idea was all mine. Hey, I was the one who told him to go away and never come back. Sheesh. Uh-oh. Uh, guys, everybody, it doesn't matter. I mean, I don't... Uh, uh, gosh, I think this is starting to get out of hand. Me stop, me stop. Thanks, animal. Welcome. Listen, you guys, I don't care whose idea it was. I think you all are pretty special. And, and you're definitely coming back to the nursery after your visit? Of course I am. Hey! Hey! Come on, Kermit. Time to go. The taxi's here. I'm ready, Nanny. Goodbye, everybody. See you next week. Imagine me thinking the sun wouldn't shine just because Kermit left the nursery. Huh? Oh, oh. oh no! It's true! Oh dear. <laughs> 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 oh, you guys. I knew it was Animal all the time. But just in case. <laughs> hey, Kermit! Yes,
so crazy. We were telling ghost stories in a fun fruits jungle. Off and off and the skeletons scared the aliens! And that's when we discovered fun fruits spooky fruit with skulls, ghosts, and monsters. And fun fruits space shapes with aliens, astronauts, and spaceships. We own fruit snacks on Sun Kiss Fun Fruits. Give me five! Fun fruits, space shapes, and spooky fruit! How's a person supposed to hibernate with this noise, frog? Out of my way, amphibian! He needs an attitude adjustment. Honey Smacks will sweeten him up. Oh! Ooh, how sweet it is! You can make Kellogg's Honey Smacks part of your complete breakfast. How sweet it is! Here's a little financial tip. You can get a coupon for a free Dairy Queen Sunday on the back of Honey Smacks. Because if you're anything like me, you could always use a little cold cash. Robocop, part man, part robot, all cop. Drop it. Robocop and the Ultra Police, each sold separately. The only cops with rapid repeat cap firing. Evil headhunter on a skullhawk is cruising for trouble. Robocop and his armored Robo One will chase him down. This will stop you. Oh yeah, nothing can stop Robocop. You put Robo One together. Robocop vehicles and figures with Robocaps, each sold separately. All set, Kermit? Sure am, Nanny. I packed my toothbrush and everything. Okay, then. Have a nice trip. Thanks, Nanny. All close. Huh? Go bye-bye. The animals. You can't. Look, Toucan. <laughs> Would have made the shot if I hadn't practiced through breakfast. Ah, then fruit flavor should be your aim. Follow my nose. It's a fast break. Kellogg's Fruit Loop Cereal, with natural orange, lemon, and cherry flavor. And lots of vitamin C, part of this complete breakfast. Have some. Oh boy, it's a slam dunk! You can! Play ball! Be a smash! Or a copycat! Stretch out! Awesome! Free Jeffrey Putty from Toys R Us with coupon on Fruit Loops. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It wasn't easy getting even more delicious chocolate into something as rich in chocolate as a Three Musketeers bar. Fortunately, it's a lot easier to get all that extra chocolate out of it. Ta-da! Gonna party! Here on This is CBS. Hello, Blue Jay. How are you? Blue Jay. Hello, Sparrow. What's new? Howdy, Robin. Nice day, isn't it? <laughs> the McDonald's Happy Meal, guys. What are you doing? Practicing, Practicing our bird calls. Bird calls. <laughs> <laughs> when you buy McDonald's Happy Meal, you get a neat garden tool. You're all really cool. There's a shovel, a pot to plant seeds, sprinkle on water, and rake away the leaves. One each week, four in all. You can have a ball. Little Gardener Happy Meal at McDonald's. Town Meeting, Wednesday at 7 on Channel 3.